Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we are talking about a very, very crucial topic. A topic which comes in mind of multiple students, but they hesitate to ask. One such student came to me through YouTube comments and asked me this question. Should I write CSI and and gate both? Or should I just write one exam? So the dilemma which he or she had is writing both exams requires more attention, more focus, more, you know, efforts while, you know, targeting one exam. And if that exam gets postponed, you know, it's a heartbreaking situation, isn't it? So today we are going to talk about CSIR net versus gate, whether to write one, whether to write both and who should write, who should not write. Now, here is a very interesting thing, which I want to highlight. If you want to write any of the exams, the first thing which you want to know is clarity of thoughts, whether it is gate or CSI net. If you do not have a clarity of thoughts, which destination you want to achieve, you'll always be confused. So here's the thing you should know. CSIR leads to a PhD. Gate does not always lead to a PhD. It leads to an MTech. Okay. You will find many people who have qualified gate, but never got admission into IITs because only 99.99 percentile people get into IITs. So if your dream is IITs, you should know this fact. Now, at the same time, you should also know that with, whether you write CSI net or gate, you have to still go and write the pre-interview or the interview you have to face and you have to write internal exams for every IIT to further qualify and get into the IIT. So, you know, these are sm small technicalities. However, let's not get into that debate because today's debate is CSIR net versus gate. So for that, we have to get started. All right, welcome back. So today we are talking about CSIR net, net versus gate, whether we should write both or, you know, skip one. So first thing, as I told you, you should know the destination where you want to go to. Do you want to MTech or you want to do a PhD? Now both has its own benefits, which we'll talk in a little later. But if you know the destination, let me know in the comment section, what do you want to do? PhD or MTech? So accordingly, you know, we can design our next video, which will help you in um, strategizing better. So I have six pointers for you. The first one is which one to choose. Now, if you know the destination, if MTech is your destination, go for it. If it is PhD, go for it. Now, here are two crucial things which you should know about MTech versus PhD. If uh, MTech is done from IIT, it's as good as PhD because the exposure which you will get, the um, engineering side of biotech which you will get will be very good. However, if you're doing a PhD, it's a research oriented, more of a research oriented thing wherein you are in for five years. Okay. So students who don't want to go in for a five years, uh, they can, you know, do a quick IIT two years and they can get out. However, PhD has its own advantages like, you know, getting into the academy as assistant professor and stuff like that. However, yeah. MTech from IIT has definitely got an added advantage when he or she applies for a PhD abroad. I'll come to that a little later. So this one is the, my first point, which one to choose? Go for PhD if you want to get into academia or industry and research. But if you want to get into the engineering side of biotechnology, biosciences, then MTech is something we should look for. And if you don't want to de dedicate five years, instead you want to get out within two years. So yeah, MTech is something for you. All right, now why to choose? Like I said, destinations, you know. Now, if you look at this, PhD is a time shaking process. And if you end up getting a mediocre institute, it's of no use. So instead, focus on something which is good. So you, sh if you write both, Okay. And you're getting a good, you know, say IIT or IIC for your MTech. Okay. Go for it. Instead of a mediocre institution, if you're getting through CSIR and you should, you know, probably skip. So why to choose? I would say the reason completely is your time duration as well as what side of biotech you want to get in. You want to get into the engineering side or the research side. So that's, uh, that answers why to choose. Now quickly coming to who should write both. Now you have to know this. If you are trying to write both, it requires double the effort. If not double, at least one and a half the effort. Okay. Because some syllabus of CSI net will obviously match, you know, overlap with gate, but at the same time, you are in for some tough questions to be solved. However, one thing which gate ensures is 
if you are writing gate gate exam we, we didn't see it getting postponed even during the pandemic however csir got postponed 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 so this is where it you know hurts you badly okay second thing during your mtech and after your mtech so mtech is just for two years and after that you get out you get out and you can quickly get placed into industry however for phd you have to wait so who should write somebody who is in for a long term in research go for phd somebody who uh, wants to get quickly into industry should write mtech but here is something which you should look at what if i want to write both yeah exam postponement postponement is one reason second is if you are somebody who has very good marks in academics who is very strong with concepts you can go ahead and write both however if you you have been a mediocre student average student who uh, finds it difficult focusing on multiple things multitasking i would suggest you know ignore this part write any one of them at a time now why you should write csir and over gate because it comes twice a year if it doesn't get postponed but uh, gate comes only once a year so you know if you miss out gate you have to wait for another year so the cycle repeats okay so that's where you will save on your time now coming to the next part this is again a continuation of my previous um, point boiling the ocean versus boiling a pot now tell me if i have a fire source and i'm if i'm trying to boil the ocean what will happen will i be able to boil it to a certain temperature definitely not instead if i just take a small pot of water and i boil through my heat source i'll be definitely able to heat it better so unless you are really a high ranker student top ranker and you know a uh, lot of experience in writing csir and gate i would suggest go for csir leave gate or write gate leave, you know skip csir but writing both is going to be tough don't do it without coaching that's another thing very important if you want to write both do it but without with you know with coaching we have a batch starting uh, called rm batch from 10th of october you can join that the link is given in the description or you can dial our toll free number 1800121818 or you can you know drop a email to info@biotechnica.org and our team will assist you so that's where my point is boiling a ocean tough very tough it's like a huge task and you may not have the energy so why not conserve your energy and focus on something which is smaller but you have higher efficiency let me give you example of biotechnica so we we don't specialize in multiple exams we specialize in a few exams but we do it in a better way because we focus on that exam right the same way you focus on one exam you will get better results you you know it's not that you write 10 exams in a year somebody will give you nobel prize it doesn't happen that way all right so now coming to the next part who should not write like i said remember if you are somebody who is facing this problem of multitasking like okay i'm not able to focus on the engineering side of biotech and solving you know probability and mathematical questions and at the same time coming back to csir and looking at the portions in a different way altogether even though the topics overlap so yeah you should skip okay so my suggestion to you is you know try one of them not both unless you are a topper or a person above average however even if you want to ensure that you don't fall in the pitfall of exam postponement in that case you take coaching from biotechnica it will definitely help you there now coming to the last part which is opportunities abroad now you look at this abroad you'll have more opportunities compared to india this is a known fact why because America United States of America is the mecca of biotechnology and that means you are definitely going to get better and better opportunities there and if you have a mtech from iits you are readily taken if you have a phd from iisc you are readily taken but if you have a phd from a little known university in the you know some distant part of india it will not help you get job abroad now whether you do mtech or whether do you do phd both ways you going to get good opportunities there but here is something no matter what you do do it from a very good organization mediocre phd's nobody is welcoming mediocre mtech it's of no use so if you ask me okay i'll go for a private institution for mtech go for it unless it is in the top 10 nac college you know rating so all this these pointers will help you now to decide whether you want to write gate or csir net or both quickly summarizing write both only if you are a topper or uh, above average student if you are average student focus on one uh, which like i was a uh, average student and if you are somebody who uh, you know wants to still write okay do it take coaching and uh, remember that phd is a long term game 
एमटेक इज अ शॉर्ट टर्म गेम यू आर आउट इन टू टू एंड हाफ इयर्स एम एस बाई रिसर्च या टू टू एंड हाफ इयर्स यू शुड बी आउट बट एट द सेम टाइम द वेट इज अब्रॉड इफ यू प्लानिंग टू गो अब्रॉड विद दिस डिग्री द वेट इज इज मोर ऑफ द लेस द सेम जस्ट दैट एम टेक विल गेट एब्जॉर्ब इन टू इन टू द इंडस्ट्री पी एच डी हेज अ चांस टू गेट एब्जॉर्ब इन टू अकेडमिया पोस्ट डॉक फेलोशिप एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ विच आई हैव कवर्ड इन माई यू नो अदर वीडियोज सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टूडेज टॉपिक विच इज गेट आर सी एस आई नेट विच वन टू चूज Now I know you have questions, है ना So चलो put them down in the comment section. Remember, I always make videos based on what is your question, what is your query. In fact, today's video is all about a question asked by someone in my comment section in our YouTube channel. So go ahead, put them down, and I will personally reply to you as soon as possible. And if you are we, if your query qualifies for a video, I'll reply there also. And very soon we'll make a video for that. So this this is all from Bio Technica's platform today about Gate Plus CSIR or Gate or CSIR. Let me know in the comment section which one you want to choose, both or one, and then we'll have a debate sometime later online live. Right, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye bye.